Right, so he's a law student who does art, and he's painting a name for himself. Karuma Reed is here to tell us how he balances both, not for the first time on Smile Jamaica. Morning, friend. Good to see you once again. Good morning, Neville. Which one you prefer? Art. Why? It's my first love. It's my passion. It's everything. I guess um, person say whenever passionate about something, it comes naturally about to wake up every day, late nights, early mornings. I always say that that is more than just passion. Where did, where did that come from? Uh, well, I was at Ozamarty actually. My teachers introduced us to art competitions. At first, I was iffy about it. But after a while, my mentor, Nadine Clementson, actually pushed me towards entering. My other teachers actually told me that you're good at this, so why not just invest much more for your time? Did you do anything in art before that, or that was the first time? That you... was my first time. Okay. So you, you kind of taught yourself, kind of, until you met? Kind of taught myself. Uh, no formal training, no Edna money, nothing like that. But when I, as I said, my past teacher, yeah. Edna Clementson, she's the one who groomed me into yeah. what I am now. Explain, Barry Salmon. Uh, Barris, I actually was doing a three-piece series in relation to Reggae Sumpfest. Title Reggae Sumpfest to BBC, Barris, Bojo and Chronics. Yeah. Completed Barris, I have completed Chronics, which I'm getting signed, and I have yet to do Bojo, but I have every intention to do it. Yeah. What do you use? Pen and ink on watercolor, That's Chronics. Right, yep. Pen and ink on watercolor, paper, archival paper or linen paper. Uh, before, I used to buy ready-made frames, mm -hmm. but I've decided to go much more eco-friendly by using wooden frames. And uh, since then, it has actually brought much more attention to my pieces, the whole different look, the eco-friendly vibe, etc. Yeah. The law helps with the art, doesn't it? It does. Uh, while at law school, you are required to do a lot of critical thinking, a lot of analysis, a lot of reading. And uh, while there, I've decided to not just spend all of my time investing in law, why not branch out into letting it apply to my art? Okay. And that's where the critical thinking comes in okay. with the research and the, yeah. and the analysis of my pieces. Yep. What kind of law you want to do with it? Criminal family and real property. I'm glad criminal because I feel my empress we have a little issue. We have, to come, <laughs> we have to come help me out. Let's start over here and you can explain um, that one. Okay. So the first piece is actually frozen. I wanted to add something different than just regular black and white. Yeah. Hence I decided to add flowers to him yeah. to have a tropical feeling. And yeah. if you should look at the top Mm -hmm. right on the corner of this forehead, yeah. you would see a little image, well, an outline of Jamaica. Jamaica yeah. I wanted to bring it somewhat local within my pieces. Yep. Other piece, that's a model from Ghana. I actually reached out to her on Instagram mm -hmm. and she was very delighted. Well, her mother, of course, was very delighted to actually have me do a portrait of her. Yeah. And I think it's one of my best pieces. I was just going to say, how close you think you got? On point. On point. On point. All right, over here, we have a couple over here. Let's start All right. with one so closer to you. Yeah. This piece, honestly, is untitled, and I'm not yet sure how I feel about it as yet. When you say you're not yet sure how you feel about it, what, um, how right. it looks, what it uh, depicts, what, what you How it looks. How it in looks. In particular, if you realize it's my other pieces, in yeah. comparison, they're just regular portraits. Yeah. But with this piece, yes, it's a portrait, but it also has an image of the world beside it. Yeah and her basically being in space. I've never done something like that before, and as I said... So where did that inspiration came from? Just out of the blue? Out of the blue. When I do my pieces, whatever comes to mind, just go I with don't it. care how it looks. Yeah, just go with it. I just go with it. And, uh, and then, then this is a boy. Mm -hmm. It's actually titled King. He's from Jamaica. His name is Alfonso. And uh, I just wanted to show a little bright, vibrant young man smiling with water running down. His, his name is really Alfonso, or you just gave him that no. name? No. Really Alfonso. Really Alfonso? Really Alfonso. So that's actually somebody that you yes. know. Brilliant. Um, so you earn from this? I earn from this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so come to your um, 
I earn from this. The regular belief is that when you are an artist, you don't make money. Yeah. And at first, I was crippled by that mentality. Yeah. But since doing this, I can tell you never. It has proven very yeah. beneficial to me. What kind of time you spend on this and where it come from? You just get up one morning and something hit you or you get up and say, you know, tomorrow I go and paint two All pictures right. or so four pictures. the time, each piece in terms of accumulative hours takes three days. How I work is not necessarily by feeling, but once I'm in the mood, I can do a work in a day or okay. two. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Where can you be found? All right, so currently I have an exhibition at F&B Downtown. It's a restaurant located close to the waterfront. But I'm a resident artist, along with fellow artists, at Reggae Mill Bar, Devon House. You can always find my art pieces there if you're interested. Brilliant, and good luck. Thank you very much, yeah. And I think I will need your services as a criminal lawyer. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Nepo. All right, folks, um, Karuma Reed, student and visual artist. More on Smile after the break, but first, News in 5 with O'Shea.